The June time reductions are here for Clash of Clans and they have made it easier for every player to reach Town Hall 16 faster. However, not all the time reductions were equal. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the biggest time reductions, how we can make the most out of the time reductions that we got and how the overall time to max has been affected in general. And trust me, you guys want to stick around because you need to be able to plan your upgrade journey around the latest time reductions. But before we get into that, we need to address the elephant in the room. Or should I say the mountain on my shirt? For those of you who are blind or have zero fashion sense at all, I am wearing a very nice graphic tee here that was given to me by the sponsor of today's video, Into The AM. Into The AM is a clothing brand that emphasizes two things, self-expression and extreme comfort. Guys, I have promised to always use a product before advertising it to you all. And I can tell you that after weeks of using these three t-shirts that you guys can see in the background right now, this company is no joke. We're talking premium apparel, handcrafted shirts with fast shipping, and also a 30 day money back guarantee. There's solid tees like this one if you like a classic look or graphic tees like this one right here if you'd like to express yourself just a little bit more. Right now there's a sale going on for the 4th of July where you could also get a nice discount but if you're viewing this at another time or you just want to support me guys there's a custom link in the description click on that for 10% off. So don't miss out on this chance because trust me guys the comfort is unbelievable and thank you into the AM for sponsoring this video. All right, let's get back into the time reductions now and talk about them as a whole. There were tons of time reductions with huge implications for all developing players, but instead of going through this monster of a sheet and talking about each specific time reduction, I made this summary table instead using some data from Clash Ninja, a true goat when it comes to providing this type of information. Since this is a little hard to understand, we'll ask one of our editors to go ahead and put it nicely for us. At Town Hall 12, we had a 19.4% percent reduction in the total time to max. At Town Hall 13, we had a 25% reduction in the total time to max. At Town Hall 14, we had a 17.8% reduction in the total time to max. And finally, at Town Hall 15, we had a whooping 30.4% reduction in the total time to max. Now that is a lot of building time reductions for these Town Hall levels, but is there a specific way to use these time reductions to your advantage? Now most of you are probably thinking, you know, time Time reductions or time reductions and I'm just yapping right now because I haven't made a video in three months or because my hair got really really long but trust me there are certain things you have to keep in mind moving forward. The first of those things is that the optimum magic item value in the game currently is for upgrades that are longer than 12 days before any time reduction from the gold pass. Now before these time reductions there were actually a lot more upgrades that fit this criteria but a lot of them don't fit this criteria anymore. For example Expo level 9 and 10 are no longer good magic item value even though they're town hall 14 and town hall 15 upgrades another example is the inferno tower going from level 8 to level 9 which is also a town hall 14 and town hall 15 upgrade my personal favorite is the ridiculous time reductions for the pet house which you guys can see in this image right here the reason this detail is important is because a bunch of guides on youtube even my own could not have accounted for this previously so you guys need to make the adjustment and determine whether you have good magic item value or not. And this is why in all of my videos, I like to explain not only what to do, but also why you need to do those things. Because if you guys understand that for yourself, you'll be able to make that call on your own without anybody else's help. Now, apart from this, there's another thing that players have to do if they want to make the most of these changes. And that is to realize that a lot of these magic item reductions occur at Town Hall 14 and Town Hall 15. Now, despite some of the really fast upgrades now like the cannon and such, Town Hall 15 still has some really long upgrades. However, Town Hall 14 has been hit with time reductions twice now and there aren't that many great upgrades left for magic items at Town Hall 14. Because of this, I think it's worth it for players to get to Town Hall 15 a lot faster than they would before. This is simply because there's not enough magic item value or pet value for you to be at Town Hall 14 for a long time. And for those of you that have been following the updated strategic 
strategic rushing guide and want the ins and outs of Town Hall 14, don't worry, that video is going to come. I just have a lot to catch up on right now, especially considering the new Apprentice Builder, Rocket Spear, and updated ways to get ores. All of which have videos coming, so subscribe if you haven't already so you can go ahead and watch them when they do come out and stay ahead of the competition. Now before we move on to the total time reduction and look at how that's changed, let's take a quick look at both the lab and the pet time reductions. For Town Hall 13, we have a lab reduction of 1.3%. For Town Hall 14, we have a lab reduction of 6.4%. And finally, for Town Hall 15, we have a lab reduction of 17.5%, which is the craziest of the bunch. Now I know what you're probably thinking, that's not that much time reduction at all. And I agree with you, it is a little bit on the milder side. However, that's still a huge amount of deduction in the earlier levels and will help players progress a lot faster to the later town hall levels. That being said, I would have liked the time to be reduced more from the lab, so hopefully that's something they will improve in the future. Something that did improve, however, is the third category of time reduction. Pets. At Town Hall 14 we got a time reduction of 13.3% and at Town Hall 15 we got a time reduction of 4.1%. Now this doesn't seem like a lot but pets were one of the main bottlenecks for Town Hall 14 players so this helps a lot of Town Hall 14 players finish faster especially if you're only upgrading select pets. So in other words another huge win for the strategic rushers but more on that when we get to the Town Hall 14 guide. Now with all of that being said you guys understand how players need to adjust their mindset as well as how they're using their magic items to make the most out of these time reductions but how does the total time to max change as a result of these reductions after all the massive time reductions from town hall 12 town hall 13 town hall 14 and town hall 15 from buildings the lab and the pet house it makes me extremely happy to announce that the total time to max has not changed much at all. This is because Town Hall 16 has gotten 69% longer in build time, and 59% longer in regards to research time. Now a lot of you might be upset with this, which I get 100%, but I want you guys to take the big picture out of this. Because there's more and more town halls, Supercell is trying to get you to get to those higher levels faster so you can enjoy all the new content, like the new Bald Bearman True. This makes it easier for all players, yes, but it also makes it a lot more beneficial to strategic rush to get to those higher levels faster. In conjunction with the equipment, the crazy amounts of events we have and the flood of brand new content that we've gotten it has never been easier to progress fast in clash of clans and that is the takeaway that i want you guys to take from this now with all of that being said your knowledge has increased so much in this video that i can actually give you this degree for clash of clans time reduction knowledge through the semi-accredited bd legend university however according to youtube your clash knowledge isn't complete yet because there's still another video that you need to watch and that person personally recommended video is right here. Honestly, I don't know what this video is at all. If it's a bad video, it's kind of on you because I'm just the messenger. You know what I mean? I'm just making videos. I, I have no idea what's going on right now.